Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. Uh, today I wanted to do a February flip through of my everyday carries, just so you guys can see how February ended up. Uh, and I have my Hobonichi Mega Weeks, my Hobonichi Cousin Avec, and my Jaboon A5 Slim Techo, along with my bullet journal. So these um, three, which is really four, uh, are my everyday carries. So this is, as far as my planners go, this is um, that. Uh, I do have a pocket size that I keep in my handbag. However, it does not necessarily get, a, get something written in it every day. It is my on-the-go planner. So these are what get used every day. So let's go ahead and the one that I use the most, which is Planner Prime, is in a Foxy Fix Cedar uh, Perfect Fit uh, cover for A5. And it houses, like I said, my Jaboon Techo in an A5 size. And it houses my meal planner, which is the wellness log from Erin Condren. And my Hobonichi Cousin of Beck, which uh, only has six months. It goes from January to June. And it's all in one A5 cover, which I love. I love this this way so, so much. And as you can kind of see, I have all my dangly bits from hell there. So, But that works out. So, just to kind of show you where we're at, uh, this is how February ended. I track my Instagram when I post to Instagram or Instagram TV, to Twitter, to YouTube, when I vlog, if I do a blog, which I realized that I did not do a blog in Jan or in February. So, we will be rectifying that. Um, a live feed, I did do a Facebook Live at one point. Um, game time and my podcast, which I have not done. Then... We go and this is actually March. So this is how February ended up. I usually try to plan or post on um, Sundays, Thursdays and Sundays, but usually um, at times it has been Monday and Thursday. But this is where I've posted. And then this is the month, the monthly view. And this is how that ends up. And then we jump over to February. And this is just my media tracker. So this only houses my social media when I post on social media, just so I can kind of track it. But um, this was February, beginning February 1st. And all I do is just post the videos. And then when I post a new video, like here I posted this, I will go back and see how many comments, how many views, how many thumbs up um, were on the previous video that I have. So... Uh, that just gives me a uh, kind of a, a view as to what's going on in the channel. And there's that. So next is my meal tracking for Erin Condren or in my Erin Condren. This is a wellness log and let's see, where does February start? So February starts here and you'll notice I have some things in green um, if I met my steps that day, I highlight the the, pe the day in green. And uh, I put what I eat, uh, all my meals here. And then I've also added my minutes, my active minutes, and my water intake. Let me flip through here. And this is how I ended January. And so up here in the corner is how many of the days in that week I met my goal. And it was just two here. And then here's where I started to be more specific about what I was eating every day. So I started doing that. I got up to five. And that's my goal for March is to get five per week. And uh, this was when I was at war in Arizona and under a national emergency. So, and then this ended February. And so, uh, and then this is my next week. And this is where I uh, closed out the month, did a review. I don't really, the, if, unless these change, I don't really put those in. I'm like, I don't change sizes very much. So 
if I remember, I remember to do that. But my weight changed. So in January, oh, I didn't put my weight there. So that, uh, let's see, did I, oh, I was at 232 for January and I went down to 229.2. And I actually achieved my goals for 16 out of the 28 days. And uh, these are my accomplishments. I didn't have soda. I did binding 52 every week. I did a no spend on clothing. I registered for the Women of Steel Triathlon and I got my taxes done and a refund back. I averaged seven hours and four minutes of sleep. Um, my average steps went down, uh, but um, I was doing a lot of prep this month and it was a shorter month. And plans for next month, I want to do a stationary uh, TN no spend for the month of March and add it to my clothing no spend. I also need to get back to my planned training schedule, so I am running, biking, and swimming weekly. I also want to be sure that I get my bills and budgeting time in each week, which is on Monday nights. And I will continue to do my Finding 52. Uh, I wanted to do more vlogs, write a blog post every week, and work on my podcast again. So, that's my meal tracking. And then my Cocoa Daisy. Um, or, not my Cocoa... <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. And so, yeah. Hopefully what you guys don't hear in this is a whole lot of yawns. Because I ended up taking a, a surprise two-hour nap. Well, almost a three-hour nap, actually. I lay down on the couch with my cat. And next thing I knew, I was woke up and I'm like, whoa. So, this was January... And this is February. This is how the monthly overview ended for February. And I don't know why I didn't put the 20th in. I know what I did, but I just got to go back and write it in. And then this is how February is set up for this month. And let's see. Where does the month start? So this is where February started. And usually on Sundays, it's hit and miss on if I put it in or not. This is the first week of February, so this is week number six of the year. And week number seven, this was the week of Valentine's Day. And it is a very pink spread, but I liked it because, you know, I just thought it made me happy. And then this was uh, the week of my vacation when I went to Arizona. And when I'm on vacation, I don't put a lot of things in. But as you can tell, my work, my work color coding was not input for that. And then uh, my last week was done. And it was a very hectic long week. And then this was yesterday. And this is today. Or this is today. And I actually have a comp day off today. So, hence the three hour plus nap, why it doesn't really bother me, because I'm like, all right. Um, I just, I was planning on doing this video much earlier and did not do that because I was asleep. So, adding back my schedule, getting my training actually scheduled in so that I can get it done on my way home from work, which is great. And writing it in, making sure that I put it in there, because, yeah. I need to make sure that I make time for that. Um, and then going into the beginning of February, uh, this is where things started. My February goals um, that I, I met two of them, which is pay entry fee for the Women of Steel um, triathlon and do our taxes. My averages that I already told you about in my other thing. Um, I did not do the rest of that, and that's okay. You know, these are just kind of overarching goals for February. So as you can tell, this is where I've done, I do a little bit of journaling here. These are my biggest to do's here. I have um, the things that I'm focusing on and most of February was 80 ounces of water, um, reading, uh, writing in something. And then uh, here is my priority. This box is for gratitude and this box is for workout of the day if I do that. And then I do sometimes put in my schedule for the day just because I'm writing it all out. So, and some days I put in journaling, some days I don't. But I'm okay with that because this is my life journal or my life book and this reflects exactly how my life goes every day. So, 
going through and showing you what I'm doing every day. Um, but again, some days, this was uh, February 14th, this was Valentine's Day, I decorated it, which is sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And uh, again, some days I have time to write at night and some days it's just going to sleep. And, um, oh, this, this was when I was actually in Arizona. And so this was the first night. These two days, I had no time to do anything. I literally woke up and went to bed so late. So, and that's okay. You know, that is what happens some days on vacation. And there is work. And I was in a hell day for work on the 28th. These are my goals. These are my uh, little March goals. So I, I'm going to take the stairs. No more elevators. Um, no fast food for the month. Reduce sugar even more. Uh, go on a stationary no spend. Hit, try to hit my 30 miles ran. Uh, four plus green days in my, um, in my menu uh, tracker. Uh, daily laundry, which I've been doing that and I've loved it. Um, if I just do one load a day, it actually, I, I never have laundry to do, and it's amazing. Um, a creative idea daily, and I have a new uh, Moleskine diary, uh, daily diary, which is a pocket size, and I will be showing in that to you probably towards the end of March, once I, end of March, once I get a full month in, but I am starting something uh, new, which is from James Attacher which is you write down 10 creative ideas every day to help stimulate your brain and stimulate your creativity. And it can be ideas about anything. And so far I've done it for about a week and I'm loving it. And so I will go through that with you uh, in about, you know, in a couple of weeks when I have some more built up. But uh, I wanted to do that for this month and I have a 10 day meditation guide that I want to do and I'll do that sometime during this month and I want to add money, add more to our savings uh, schedule a 10k for the first quarter I have done that and that will be doing uh, I will be doing on March 16th it is the lucky 13 uh, 10k here in Salt Lake City uh, apply to be a DC Wonder Woman run ambassador I did that I have not heard back from them but uh, Salt Lake City Comic Con is doing, uh, they're sponsoring one of the official DC Wonder Woman runs uh, during Comic Con. And it is the weekend after I get back from Dragon Con. And uh, I have applied to be one of the DC Wonder Woman uh, ambassadors. So we'll see if that happens. I still need to register for my Salt Lake City Half Marathon, which I'll do next payday. I want to finish the living room. Uh, doing the KonMari method and getting and the uh, minimalist home uh, method and clear it out. And I just need to finish a couple of more things. There's two cabinets that I need to finish clearing out. And then the living room is done. And then I can move on. And I think the next thing will be either my bedroom or the guest room. I'm not sure which. Um, I'm on a clothing no spend and a stationary no spend. And then I'll put my number of runs in March. My average steps and my average hours slept. So I started March at 229.2. We'll see how I end. But that is just my my March beginning page. And so far, so good. Um, and we are here. So I am very happy with that. And that is my Planner Prime. So let us go into my bullet journal. Well, actually, we'll go into my... Hobonichi uh, Weeks Mega. And I've added a couple of new stickers. Um, this one came with my Jet Pens order. And then this was sent to me in Happy Mail. And I love it. It is 2019 is the year of the narwhal for me. So um, I, I loved that sticker. And so I thought, oh, I'm just going to put that there. And then let's get into the monthly overview for February is here. And for February, I did, um, uh, for the fifth week of the year, I did reading Ikigai for two plus hours. 
And here was memory keeping on a snow day for week six. Uh, week seven, uh, Wabi, Stop, Wabi Sabi was started, the book, and then I watched, um, binge watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and relaxed on the couch for over three hours. Uh, week eight, I watched Mary Queen of Scots, and then I also did um, a couple of hours on Pinterest um, researching new Viking and Rus garb ideas that I'm going to be making. And for this last week, I wrote return letters for those that I got during Inca Rimo because I have not had time to sit down and do that. And so I got a few of them done. Uh, but if you sent me a letter for Inca Rimo, please know that it is coming. It's just taking me a little bit longer than I thought to get those out. And, you know, I felt like I, oh, I can do these on the weekends and just build it up. And that did not work. <laughs> so they just ended up being all in a pile. So... And then I also spent some time reading uh, Wabi Sabi some more. So that is my Finding 52 for the month. And uh, I already have March set up. So there's that. And let's see, where did February start? It's December. It's January. All right, so February started here. And, uh, as you can see, I've started adding more stickers to that. And I just loved how this all turned out. And over here are things that make me happy or bring me joy. Um, my exercises and uh, orders and shipments that I received. If I order it during that week, I put a zero or an O. If I uh, receive it, I put an X or an R, sorry. As you can tell, I gotten a little bit sticker happy but it just makes me happy to see it and this was Valentine's Day week it matched my cousin Avec and um, then this was week eight so um, there's that and this was week nine this was last week and uh, as you can see my stationary no spend is kicking in so uh, we should have a lot fewer unboxings this month. And then this is this week's setup. So I loved this washi tape. And I just thought I would make it bright and happy. I have my first race of the year in two weeks. And it's the 10K. And um, I have today noted as a comp day. I just have not updated it. I usually update this at night. So this is how the week, this week is set up. So... There's that. Um, one thing I am going to be doing into the back of my notes here is I have a lot of books that I want to read and that I have, per, that I have purchased, but I don't have them. I just have them stacked around the house and in, here in my studio, you can see a lot of them in, in the background, but I am going to write them down in here because now I'm starting to go, did I buy that book? Do I need to buy that book? Like Carol Dweck's Mindset. Uh, I hunted it down yesterday because I almost bought it a second time. And so I'm going to go through this week and add the, all the books that I have that I'm wanting to read this year and put them in here so that I have the list and I know what I'm doing or know what books that I'm going to read next instead of having to walk all through my house and figure out where they are. Um, and so also those shelving units will probably change a little bit because, um, I also just saw, um, John Rush's KonMari, um, his entire collection of, of, um, Traveler's Notebooks. And I was struck by the fact that there were so many, but, um, and I do not have that many, um, anymore, but I also was like, you know, I would love to, I need to have those all in one space. And so I have some space because I conmarried my living room that I can move some of these books up. And um, because my favorite reading space is my living room and where I have my morning rituals and all of that kind of thing. And so I want to move some of those books up so I have them there. And then I will bring in, uh, I readjust the shelving so that all of my TNs are in here and you can see them in the background and uh, I'll probably do an updated video of all of the TNs that I have in my collection. So, there's that. And then last but not least, my, uh, this is, oh, by the way, this is the Chic Sparrow Weekly Cover in Calypso. And it is, um, it was a gift from Tiffany and I love it. So, I've, I've talked about this extensively 
in various um, videos and spend the rest of your life celebrating is uh, an amazing sentiment that I live by. So there's that. Then this is my um, A5 bullet journal. And this is in a Mystic's Little Gifts A5 cover. And it is in the orchid leather. And this is just a Simply Gilded um, journaling card that I thought went very well with this. And I just love tucking that in there. And then uh, my Death Wish coffee sticker. And we will just start. Uh, so here's my Calendex. And this is where I write out uh, my movie dates with my husband. And we got one in right at the end. Holy cow. Uh, we saw Into the Spider-Verse on the 27th because I, I was looking at it going, oh no, it, we're going to break our cycle because it's been over a year. So it's been a year and I think three or four months that we've done at least one movie a month for uh, uh, our date nights. And I was like, oh no, we're going to miss a month. We're going to break our chain. And he was like, oh hell no, we're not. We'll fix that. And so the next night we went and got, we uh, watched Into the Spider-Verse, which was very good. Especially for me not being a Spider-Man fan. But I did like the animated version. And I, I will admit, I love the new Spider-Man. He, the kid is amazing and I adore him. And he has made me enjoy Spider-Man so much more. So much more than any other Spider-Man that I've seen. We'll just leave it at that. You can't say something nice. Don't say something at all. Evil Toby McGuire. Okay. This is my year in pixels so far. And um, so this is how February ended up. It was a little bit more colorful than, than usual. And that's okay. Um, uh, you know, there, there were a couple of days that I had stomach issues. Um, some okay days. And that's... Okay, this was my trip to in Phoenix or in Arizona, and uh, that's okay. Uh, I had a very stressful day on the 28th. That was my day from hell at work, but I have since recovered, and tonight should be amazing. So, you know, we're back on track with that. Um, and then these are my 2019 goals, which I try to review, and. Um, we have the Women of Steel uh, Triathlon. I've gotten one every quarter. Uh, my 10K race is in two weeks. And we are doing... I My vlogging and blogging weekly is not going as good. And I, st I did not do a podcast in January or February. But I'm trying to catch up on that and see how March goes. So we will see. Um, and then let's get into, this is where February started. And I did not do my January review, but I did do my February. So this was just some quotes, uh, especially from the Ikigai book that I loved. And so that was my opening uh, page for February. This is my February uh, daily tracking, my February task list, my waiting for, which was long. Oh my goodness. I went crazy a little bit in February. And then these were my dailies. And then I added doing a week in review, what five things did I learn this week? And uh, I've kept up with that and I've enjoyed doing that. So um, I have done my week seven review, week eight review. And this was my week nine in review. And then I did February as a whole of my review. And um, I did miss the 30 miles, but I went into March rested and that is so good. Um, despite sleeping three hours for no apparent reason today. Um, my steps were lower than average, but it was also a short month. I still stayed off soda and completed month two of a clothing no spend. So those were both positives. I did our taxes and got our refund back and I'm still above seven hours per sleep per night on average. All in all, even with Estrella being such a disaster, I still feel like I learned so much in February, and I will call it a win. And that is huge for me. Um, I'm not letting any of the things that I missed bother me, and I'm just like, it happens. Um, I don't feel bad about missing my numbers, because if I had tried pushing myself, then I would have still perpetuated an exhaustion cycle. And this way, I will go into March much better off than I was going into February. So... My February goals, like I said, um, 
schedule a 10K for the first quarter, which is actually done. So I can check that off and apply to be the DC Women Ambassador. Finish up the living room, continue a clothing no spend, adding stationary no spend, and register for the Salt Lake City Half Marathon. These were the small goals that were on that small little post-it. Along with, um, I'm adding an art challenge to myself. I want to um, work on drawing lotuses. Um, and I, I've done something like this um, just to kind of see if I could draw an, an owl. And, um, I did not talk about that when I did that, but, um, I am going to see what it takes to draw a lotus. And I think working on one thing at a time is, has been easier for me. And, uh, so I don't know. I may share some of these in the future. We'll just, we'll just see. Um, part of this is because I want to start my own sticker, um, doing my own stickers and designing my own stickers eventually. Um, but you know, you kind of got to know how to draw to do that, but we're just kind of playing with it. And that also plays into my one book July, which I am planning ahead for. And then this is my March, uh, data glance. And then I've actually added things in April so that when they come up and I know that I need to move them forward for April, I have that down there since I had the room. And then this is my March task list, which will be to reduce, um, if I decide to reduce the Cocoa Daisy sub sometime this year, I will be doing that, but I'll just be moving it forward until I decide. I'm paying off my American Express. Um, I have more clothing to take to Savers. I need to register for the Salt Lake City Marathon, and I need to pre-order my R-Sport tri-kits. I'm going to be getting both of those. And then these are what I'm waiting for for this year. Oh, and my February... Login Jotter just got here today, so that's great. Um, I will have four um, TNs coming in that I ordered in February because, again, I went crazy, which is why we are on a stationary and TN, mostly TN, no spend. So I will not be buying any more Traveler's Notebooks in March. Um and then this was today's. So I'm filming and editing now. I've, I went to NPS this morning and we will add more to that. So that is my February flip through for my, my bullet journal. So this is what I use and carry every day with me. And, uh, for all intents and purposes, my everyday carries and this is how I make sure everything is scheduled. My task lists are done. And I these are my brains. So there you have it. My February flip through and uh, my prep for March. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.